Welcome everybody to Bedbug TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And in today's episode, I want to talk to everybody about what my preferred bed bug treatment method is. You know, on this show, I talk a lot about products and different things that you can use to kill bed bugs. And I don't always take a step back and say, hey, if I had bed bugs, this is what I would do. This is what I would use. And uh, I had a viewer, you know, ask me that question. Say, you know, if you had bed bugs in your house, what would you do? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you my quick answer. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about what's behind that decision. It's not really that straightforward. But if I had bed bugs in my house, I would probably use structural heat. Um, that is the method that you can get rid of a large percentage of infestations in just one treatment. And although it's expensive, it's still at least somewhat reasonably priced. Um, and so that was really my short answer is that I would probably choose structural heat. Now, that being said, let's go through the three primary options and talk a little bit about each. Um, first, you have, to me, the holy grail of bed bug treatment, which is fumigation. Um, if you're in an area where you can get affordable fumigations done of your house, such as the south, southeast, out in California, where dry wood termites exist, fumigation is really the way to go. The issue is, is that a good portion of the country can't get fumigation for an affordable price. You know, here in New Jersey where I'm at, you know, an average 2,000 square foot home could cost anywhere from eight to $12,000 to fumigate. And you know, it could even go higher than that. You go into the South and you can find fumigations for much, much affordable prices. And so if you can afford it and you can find it, that's really the best option. But where I am and with what I do, it's not the best option because money is always a factor and it's very expensive here in the Northeast. Now. The other end of the spectrum is a traditional service. And when I say traditional services, I mean using pesticides, using bedding casements, uh, using interception devices, and, and combining all those tools into a good program. That, to me, is probably the most common option that people choose. And it's not a bad option. You know, I, I would be comfortable doing it in my house. The issue with traditional services is that sometimes it can take multiple services to get rid of the problem. And if follow-ups are scheduled two weeks apart, you know, an average infestation might take a month to completely eliminate. And for some people, that's not an acceptable time frame. Now, for most people, it is. And that is the most common option that people go with. But, you know, like I said, this the question was, is if I had them in my house and I could choose anything, what would I do? The reason why I choose heat is because it gives you the best opportunity to eliminate most infestations in just one service. And although it is more expensive than a traditional service, in our area, about 50% more, you know, it's still at least somewhat reasonably priced. And so that would be my decision. Um, but again, you know, when it comes to heat versus a traditional service, you know, I, it, it's a debate for me. You know, I, I don't know which direction I would go. Um, obviously, if money's a concern, you're probably going to need to go with the traditional service. Uh, not a bad thing, um, especially if you have a good company doing it. And really, that's the take home when it comes to any of these services, whether it's fumigation, whether it's heat, whether it's traditional. It's not as much as the method as it is the company that is providing the treatment. If the company knows what they're doing and they're a good company, you can eliminate bed bugs with any of those treatment methods. It's really about the company and, and, and doing your research, making sure they know what they're doing and that they're going to do a good job. And that's really what this is about. So. The short answer, I would probably choose heat, but again, there's a lot of different factors you need to consider within that, you know, price, time frame, is there a company in your area that provides these different services? And so, that's the answer. I would choose heat. If you have any questions about my preferred treatment method or something that's going on, you know, in your neck of the woods, you can email me, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com, and I hope to see everybody soon enough.